so the first thing we need to do for this solution is over here in the I3 row we need to tell the sheet whether it should be pulling from the actuals depending if there's something there or from the forecast so I'm going to make use of an if function so I'm going to go in and choose the if function and the test here is going to be look at the actual we're going to use turnover as our key look at that cell there is it equal to a blank two inverted commas next to each other if it is blank then I'm going to say put the word forecast if it's not a blank put the word actual I don't need dollar signs in this case, I'm going to say OK. So it's telling us that there is actual information and when I copy it across you'll see it says actual, actual, forecast, forecast, forecast. OK, so we now have got that sorted out. What we now want to do is in these two rows set it up that if it says actual here it must pull information from actual otherwise from the forecast. So again I'm going to use an if function I'm going to say look at that cell over there and because I'm going to copy it down I need to put dollar signs on the number so it doesn't copy down if that is equal to the word actual then I need it to go to the actual sheet and pull through that number if it's not actual then I'm assuming it's forecast so go to the forecast sheet and pull through that number. When I say OK, you'll see it's pulling through 90,000. Notice because of the consistency, I can check that's column R, that's column R, that's column R. So that looks like it's working. I'm going to copy it all the way across. And you'll see it goes 90,000, 91,000. Let's look at the actuals 90,000, 91,000. And then it goes 77,000. We don't have a number here, but we do have 77,000 there. If I've built this correctly, I should be able to copy it down. And the same thing's going to happen. That's going to go look at the actuals. This one here will go look at the forecasts. If, for whatever reason, we've now got another number here, let's put 100,000 in. The combined will automatically go, assume that there's actuals here now. So you'll see it's now pulling all of these from the actual sheet. Let's just get rid of that. The next thing you're asked to do is just to sum it. So we just want to see what we're going to look like at the end of the year. So I'm going to create a sum, add that up copy and paste it. So now what we've got is a tool that we can enter a budget, we can enter the revised forecast and the actuals and we have one place where we can see what does that mean for the overall picture. Notice as well is we've connected a cash flow and a balance sheet so once you have this it should actually just flow into the rest of your financials.